Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another Alliance War video. So this is probably going to be the last dedicated just one war Alliance War video of this season. There's three more wars after this and none of them I feel like warrants its own video. If anything, I'll probably do like two in one or maybe just the highlights of the last couple wars during like my rewards opening or something. But this is the last full dedicated war video that i really want to show you guys and so this was right after uh you know the previous double war video this was this is war number nine of the season and the, those last two against pycb and pbt were seven and eight so this is right after and there is less than an hour left in this war and then as soon as i hit that start button you see i, I was sitting there for a while and I don't remember exactly why, if I was doing something or I was trying to remember something. But as soon as I got in here, it hit me. I'm like, no, no, I'm an idiot again. I still didn't give Void a relic, bro. I still didn't give him a relic. So I, I have a lot of Void fights this war, including a Wong final boss. And I don't have a relic attached. Oh, I'm such an idiot. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to suck it up and do it without a relic. As soon as this war was over, the first thing I did was give a relic to Void. He has one now. Uh, and I do use him in some wars after this. So he is relic up going forward. But for this war, he will be relicless. So everyone's done. Uh, ev everyone uh, in both alliances, all the 59 other people are done with this war. It's just me left. I'm the only one that still has fights. Well, technically, they left up one fight on the map accidentally they didn't intend to do that because why would you leave up a fight on the map um so they actually finished with only 149 attacker kills which is very weird um but anyways yeah like there's it's just me left there's an hour left and it's just me and my fights to do between both alliances so i'm getting in here i'm doing my thing uh so up first we got a venom on path number three this fights an absolute joke with hulkling easy peasy Next up, we have a Kindred on path number three, a rank three Kindred. This fight is a little bit more of a big deal than that Venom. I'm going to be using Photon here. Now, Kindred is not uh, part of the tactic, so we don't have to worry about the power gain or anything. It's just pretty much a standard, pretty beefy Kindred fight with Photon. And, you know, normally when I fight Kindred, I like to push him to his special two. Here he just rips his special ones. You know, that's super duper fun and cool and awesome. And yeah, we are already in Nightmare Outbreak. That's also super cool and fun and awesome. So it's fine. We're just going to chill. We're just going to chill. Wait it out. I, I have an hour until this war ends. You know, I got plenty of time. I got plenty of time. I'm just going to chill. Do my thing. You know, the war... I think the score of the war has already been decided at this point, regardless of how many times I do or don't die. I don't think the war, the score is changing. I didn't know the exact score when I was doing these fights, but I was pretty sure that like whatever I do won't really have an outcome on the overall end of this war. So I wasn't really too worried, especially about like fight time. But like I, I'm just taking my time, bro. Especially against Kindred, like it's fine. This is not battlegrounds. This is war. I'm gonna be taking my time. Wait out. Not one, but two of his Nightmare Outbreaks. That's fine. All right, Kendrick, you want to be like that? We can be like that. We can just chill. We can dance together. Let's just dance around, bro. I got all day. I got an hour. Plenty of time to dance with you. And then, boom, pop our special two here. Boom. Uh, it doesn't even trigger the root, which is weird. But intercept him. That does trigger the root. And then relic. And he's dead. So, I definitely didn't play that fight perfectly by any means, but whatever it still handled it just fine took a little bit of time it's all good man slow and steady that's the name of my game it's the name of my game slow and steady and safe the three s's it's also my three s's for driving in the winter but uh yeah all right moving on to section two we have path number three still and we have a future ant-man so i fought future ant-man here before and i usually don't have like notes on my fights like notes for like what to do and stuff but here there was you know wait out the armor that's all that was said there and uh i've already done this fight before and i've already seen how it can go wrong with hulkling uh but yeah just wait out that first armor get a pierce up and then you're pretty much golden because if you don't do that if you just start the fight attacking fam you're gonna just bleed out like in seconds uh because of the chitinous thorns node here 
that if the defender has armors and you're attacking them, you're gonna you're gonna be bled. And hopefully he's not bleed immune. But as long as you have a pierce effect active, you know, future Ant-Man cannot be gaining his nanotech armors. So just keep a pierce active at all times and we're fine. Here, he f I'm spending like 35 seconds trying to bait out a special. He finally throws it and then he clips me. Love when that happens. <laughs> like they wait so long that they actually hit you with it. That, that happens to me more than I care to admit. Uh, but it's all good. Didn't hurt much. We got some regen buffs as well, and we're healing back the, the, the damage over time effect. We're healing for 268, and it's only dealing 119. So that's actually regen. So all good. And then, uh, yeah, he's almost dead here. I think I'm just going to rip a special two with one fury. And yeah, the first hit is enough to kill. No problems at all there. All right, moving on. Next fight. Here, my spider sense is tingling, bro. I'm sensing... I'm sensing danger as I pull up to this fight. We have a rank 3 Sigil Witch. And my spider sense is just like, dude, 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 you're going to die here. Be careful. I'm like, okay, how can I prevent a death here? Well, I can do some work to my mastery. So I'm going to go ahead and add Resonate on. going to go ahead and skip through this. But yeah, throw on Resonate. So that's another debuff with Void. Plus, just it's a weakness. So lowering the opponent's attack. Because Sigil Witch, man, she's, I don't know, she could be a little bit scary. She is Tactic here. I don't really fight her that often. She's rank 3 and Tactic, so, you know, I'm just going to be taking some precautions. Uh, and we're also, don't have a Relic. So, you know, what, whatever I can do to help uh, Void. Because <laughs> I can't help him with a Relic. I can't do that. Not this war. So, luckily, the very first debuff we trigger in this fight is Petrify. And the very second debuff we trigger is also a Petrify. Which I love to see because now here's the power gain. And it's fine. You, she's gaining absolutely no power because each of those petrifies is 50%. So with two, it's 100% power gain stoppage. Right there, the miss triggers. That's fun. Love, love getting a random miss trigger. Ah, oh, God. I ah, That's so unneeded with this tactic, dude. Oh, God. I hate that. But yeah, we got the petrifies. We're kind of just chilling now, doing what we can. I'm trying to be a little bit more careful now after those missed hits. You know, trying to hit her like when she's parried and maybe shorten my combos a little bit here and there. But yeah, now we get the fear of the void active, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, ideally we just want to get some more petrifies. Then we can actually start, uh, you know, inverting her power gain, which would be very nice. But yeah, just sticking to the special one baits. Boom, we got a third petrify. That's fantastic. And yeah fight is essentially over at this point another miss right there oh my goodness but uh yeah she's dead she's gotta let our damage do its thing she drops dead so shout out to my spider sense for forewarning me about the danger we we took some precautions and we got through the fight so got still four more fights or eight fights total this war which was i think i had one other eight fight war this season which was the the bullseye war boss video um, that was also eight fights. This is also eight fights. So we have two mini bosses before we get to the final mini boss island. Then we have another mini mini boss onslaught to fight, and then the Wong final boss. But up first, we got some more mystic fights for Void to deal with. So here we have a rank three Mordo, and the nodes don't look too crazy. Uh, I'm not really that worried. I, I am gonna throw on a special three defense boost. That's just you know. Those are great, especially this season with all the power gain. You never know when you're going to be getting special three. So it's a good idea to have those boosts on. And, you know, Mordo, I don't really want to waste an invulnerability boost here because against Mordo, he has one of the weakest special threes in MCOC. Um, so, like, even if I had no boosts on, I'm quite certain I would survive a special three from Mordo. Um, and then with boosts, plus the special three defense boost like I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm not worried at all so right there we get some resists and then we had some leg and then all of a sudden he's at special three and, and but watch L look takes me down to 87 percent yeah we could tank about like 10 more of those and be fine uh, and then we get two misses in a row on my special that's fun and interactive dude the miss is so dumb God, I freaking hate that stupid miss. <laughs> Anyways, finally connect an attack that doesn't miss. We apply some debuffs. Dude, this guy has just been turtled this whole fight. Just power gaining in the corner. I just need to get to two petrifies though. 
and then we don't need to worry about his power gain or the regen because there's also a lot of regen here um but i mean with our debuffs okay there's two petrifies so now we're good now we're, we're we're good the fight is is pretty much over now all of my fears and worries are pretty much gone at this point the only way i'm going to really die now is again if the miss happens and like we eat some combos that's that's about it outside of that hyper specific scenario i i don't see myself dying here i'm not really worried we got the power gain again gonna lead him into the corner then go for a heavy i went for a heavy into a special but that didn't work he blocked it it's okay he didn't get the punish on me so it's fine and then yeah boom another petrify we love to see we we'll love to see that and yeah this fight's pretty much over just uh getting some leg i don't know if that was in fight leg or if that's reporting leg or what is that but hey my name's legacy if you guys didn't know i leg a lot that's where the name comes from but uh yeah this mordo is dead a little 14,000 medium crit from void not too bad man that's a big hit sig 200 void of course you know so that uh, fear of the void is giving us some nice attack rating increase and then we have this little wiccan fight uh, which I'm going to actually be using Photon for, not Void. And then we're going to be moving on to Mini Island. So a rank 3 um, Wiccan here. We got some Hazard Shift. I think I had some uh, some Odin pre-fights applied for me here. So this, because I was looking at Photon's abilities. And I'm like, wait, Photon doesn't have any immunities to this Hazard Shift, right? Uh, and she doesn't. I believe it's Incinerate and Shock. Um, I'm just taking another look here. Yeah, it's in shock, but we did get the Odin, uh, pre-fight, which gives us the, basically, it's not shock immunity, but it's, like, a lot of shock resistance. So, basically, I'm only going to be hitting Wiccan in the shock phase. So, I was a little bit worried about this fight, like, in this assignment, you know, but as soon as I got in here, I, I realized, like, okay, yeah, this is, this is fine. This is totally fine. So... He applies some plasmas to me, which is uh, very interesting. Those are actually doing some damage. But uh, yeah, we are in our pure light form right now. And I'm going to hit him one time there, even though we're in the incinerate phase. The reason I'm hitting him is just to pause our form. Here I hit him again a little bit, get a couple debuffs on me. But it's fine. Um, you know, we got the five furies. We're hitting very hard. Here go for a little intercept into a fat combo into a special two. And he's dead. He's just dead. I was like, oh, okay. I see why Photon was assigned for that now. Little, Still a little bit of a sketchy fight, uh, but because she was built up already going into that, it made it so much easier. So, two fights left. Onslaught and Wong Boss. Um, I'm worried, a little bit worried about the Wong Boss. Actually, a fair bit worried, uh, especially because I don't have a relic. But this Onslaught fight, you know, I was feeling very confident. Because, you know, I had done this fight before with Hulkling, and it went so good. Uh, but there were some differences between the first time I did that fight and this time. Uh, some of the differences are uh, cosmic power back boosts for one. I had those last time. I don't have them now. And for two, actually, I'm not even going to say it. You'll just see it. I'll let you guys see it. So, <laughs> because I completely just forgot. And it, um, right here, right there. What happened? What happened right there? I was not, my plan was just to play slow. Play very slow build up my power build up my buffs and you know i was not planning on baiting a special one from onslaught for at least like 30 seconds into the fight and what happens here so i break his block and resonate triggers the weakness the weakness debuff triggered on him so because there is a conflictor note here he purifies that debuff and gets power gain and what does he do the moment he gets that burst of power gain look how fast he throws his special literally instantaneously i i was not ready i have n <laughs> bro i would he caught me lacking a million percent right there i was not at all ready not even close to being ready for a special i'm like dude freaking resonate oh resonate just completely screwed me up here not the fight i wanted or not the start i wanted uh for this fight but it's fine you know it's fine now i'm gonna be keeping that in the back of my mind for the rest of this fight um, be careful of Resonate Legacy. Be very, 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 very careful of Resonate. Um, so that's in my mind now. And I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to be baiting out these specials, you know, like as soon as he gets there, because I don't want to push him too much. I don't want to push him to special two or something. Um, like I can deal with the special two, uh, but I'd rather not, especially if like I'm crushed or something. No thanks. So 
create those special ones the moment he gets to them. There we go. I'm also trying to not hit him too much. I'm just trying to do more so blocked hits because it can't trigger resonate through the block. So yeah, just doing that. And then boom, throw this. I didn't trigger resonate on those hits. So I'm like, all right, safe to throw it. And then again, just gonna instantly bait this special because I don't want to push his power up too much. And yeah, everything is going all good. Now I do go for a little run in there to try to get some more time with my fury passives or sorry my fury buffs but uh yeah this fight's winding down he's almost dead under 10 percent health i'm like all right we got this it's pretty much over i'm gonna be safe though i think i bait one more special attack here just to be extra super duper safe there we go all right and then we're gonna go ahead and five combo i think into a relic yes and then it would have been into the special but He's dead so that fight was fine other than the start with the resonate that really caught me off guard but all good dealt with it no problem now we get to wong so rank three wong boss and he has almost a million health he has well over nine hundred thousand, not well over nine hundred six thousand health we got some uh, mr fantastic pre-fights which is really nice we also have a power start one boost still active from the onslaught fight so we're just gonna jump right in so i don't have a relic but that's fine i'm, I'm honestly not too worried about the relic my main thing that i want to be doing is uh is just keeping those mr fantastic pre-fights up that's kind of my main that's my pseudo goal in this fight my main goal you know is to solo the fight but my secondary goal is to maintain those debuffs so how do you maintain those debuffs you just knock them down so a special or a heavy will do and so what I want to do right here, bait the special one, get that spacing perfect and heavy to refresh our debuffs here. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, and we also got really lucky. My first two debuffs uh, on this boss fight were both petrified. So I have three petrifies active right now. One from Mr. Fantastic and two from Void. So his power gain is non-existent. He, he cannot gain any power right now, which is awesome. So here... I uh, just need to throw that special quickly before uh, those Mr. Fantastic free fights fall off. Boom, there we go. And so the main thing with this fight is openings. You know, how can I get my openings? There's really two ways. You can intercept and you can bait heavies. Those are going to be the main two ways other than just, you know, baiting out specials. But he doesn't always have a special to be baited. So with baiting out the heavy attack, that's where you need to be careful because he can go passively unstoppable. Now there's a there's two prongs to Wong's heavy nose, the unstoppable, but it's also the power gain. Now the power gain is irrelevant because of the petrifies, but the unstoppable is still very relevant. But it has a cooldown. So it has a little grayed out cooldown timer as well. So I just need to be paying attention to that. And as long as I do that, it should be fine. And again, still just heavy countering his special one every single time. Uh, right there, I was actually up to two Fear of the Void, which is great. Uh, that, that's a lot of attack increase. But yeah, it fell off. Just up back up to one now. And my, my, my Mr. Fantastic Prefects were getting kind of low there. So I went for an intercept into a special. Boom, refresh them. And boom, that's Wong soloed pretty easily, honestly, without a relic. And we maintained the Mr. Prefight, Mr. Fantastic Prefights the entire fight. I don't think I could have done that literally any better. Flawless boss fight felt really really good but unfortunately then i looked at the score for the war and it we had 16 deaths and they had nine so that kind of sucked uh we did end up losing but you see they only had 149 attacker kills but even still it wasn't enough for us to win having seven more deaths but i did for the very first ever time become the number one mvp for a war so that's interesting karate mike is usually always number one so i mean i, I he's he still were tied 4.3 percent but somehow i took this one from him but yeah guys that is going to go ahead and do it for this video uh probably my best war of the season it's got to be this one or you know the other eight fight war with the boss fight um i i i think this one was a little bit more impressive just because my void didn't have a relic <laughs> um yeah and I feel like Wong's a little bit of a trickier boss than Bullseye. Well, I mean, Bullseye's trickier, but I had Onslaught. So, you know, such a hard counter. Whereas Void versus Wong, not really the hardest of counters. Good counter, but yeah. So that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Not too many left. There's like, I think, three more wars left. And like I said, none of them were that exciting or crazy to even warrant its own video. So we'll see what I do with the rest of the season. I am going to be having a season rewards opening. 
Be on the lookout for that. Going to be opening up at least two seven stars in that crystal, or two seven star crystals in that video. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Peace.